Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. As you can tell, I'm not in my regular uh, <clears throat> environment, which is a jungle. And um, I have some uh, important news to um, deliver here. If you're not aware of um, the Ukrainians or whomever, again, attacked a um, pipeline. Uh, this time they uh, damaged the Russian oil pipeline building. Um, um, that is very interesting because that is very far away from Ukraine. So whomever did it, um, I'm suspecting is uh, someone else, actually not the Ukrainians attacking from Ukraine, but actually from somewhere else. <clears throat> Let me show you what's going on here. Uh, we have this article from Reuters and uh, it is from uh, yesterday. Drone attack damages Russian oil pipeline building. So this is from the 27th of May 2023 from Reuters. So an attack by two drones caused an explosion in Russia's Pskov, or Pskov region near the border with Belarus that left an oil pipeline's administrative building damaged. So that's according to the local govern governor, it's around Telegram. So the governor did not point the finger at Ukraine, I wouldn't either, but Moscow has previously blamed Kiev for similar incidents, some of which have caused damage to people and property hundreds of kilometers from its border with Ukraine. Now let's see what this Pis Piskov is. So the Piskov is right here, Piskov. You see where Piskov is? So Piskov is by Estonia and Latvia. So, and here is uh, Belarus and here is Ukraine. And here is Russia and Moscow. So I don't think the Ukrainians did something a hanky panky over Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, and come, came over, or here by this border somehow like this. I think this was, that's my assessment. I have no evidence, but I think it was launched in this area. This is not the first time when they attack something in, uh, you know, St. Petersburg area. I think it was another attack a few days ago in the same spot, in the same you know, vicinity of Peskov. So anyway, it's very strange that it's the same uh, spot, but it's far away from Ukraine nevertheless. So let's see what other information these guy, guys uh, provide us. There was no immediate comment from Ukraine on Saturday. Ukraine has not publicly acknowledged launching attacks against targets inside Russia, but senior officials in Kiev have an, on occasion appeared to welcome the news of successful drone attacks on Russian soil. So this is a video and they say the same, uh, they show here the same Puskov area by Belarus, uh, Kaliningrad, and here is where Ukraine is. I'm not going to play it because they are not going to tell us anything, but I tried to use this map if I read, let it go. They just go to something else. Uh, all right, so that's now what it is. They, they tell us about the pipeline and so on. Previously, the building was damaged, damaged as a result of an attack by two unmanned aerial vehicles. Provisionally, my, my bad. Provisionally. He said there were no casualties and that an operational group that would deliver final conclusions was working on the scene. The incident occurred near the village of Litvinovo, less than 10 kilometers, 6.2 miles from Russia's border with Belarus. Okay, let's see again, Pskov with Belarus. So then they said Pskov region, but this is a town or something. So probably right here. I mean, I'm guessing this is the Pskov region. So maybe it's just uh, these beautiful Latvians doing something, but I don't know. I don't have any evidence to support my uh, gut feeling. And I think from time to time, I'm allowed to have gut feelings as a, a big portion of our population, <clears throat> if you know what I mean. I am pretty sure some of you know. <laughs> so uh, here we have, uh, again, a successful, a successful attack conducted by someone against the Russians and obviously the Ukrainians celebrated uh, even if it uh, wasn't uh, they who perpetrated that. But uh, who else? The Americans? Nah, they were not involved in such a... Uh, we call it in, in Romanian gainery. Gainery is like, you know, the chicken, when people steal chicken, which is very low, petty crime. So the Americans would not get into this kind of uh, gainery, you know, petty crime. They're for the big fish, if you would see something bigger than that, you know. 
I don't know, attack on a uh, spy ship or blowing a pipeline. I mean, that could, you know, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> I know you know what I mean. All right. Well, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just. Now, you can't protect the whole you know, nation. Uh, and remember, what's happening right now in, uh, in Russia could happen in many other countries that have a big, big, big uh, mass of land. That is, uh, you can't control many, many things on your border or, you know, especially when, if you have countries like Latvia, Estonia in the area and they don't like you a lot, if you let's put it this way. So, see you in the next video. Ciao.